welcome back to Babe, Where's My Passport? Over the last 14 days, we have been traveling all the way around Poland, and this is our final video in the series. We're gutted. In this video, we explore Rotlaf, and we find out what these little fellas are. And we're after the man behind me. Watch this episode to see why we're stalking him. Good morning, guys. We are about to go on our city tour with our tour guide. We're currently in a different part of the lobby area. As you can hear in the background, free running water. Because where we used to be, like we said yesterday or earlier, um, there used to be a bridge right here. But obviously now it's a hotel, which is proper cool. Okay guys, I'm just reading a book while we wait. Live the Polish way of life, Theodora. There are 300 of these things in this city. And when we're walking around the tour, we need to see if you pick up on what they are. And at the end of the video, we'll see if she picked it up. Okay, we are on the tour. It's starting to rain. The one day I curl my hair, girls, you know what it's like. Okay, we are starting with the history. I've learned already so many things from speaking to him for five minutes. Rotswav, Rotswav, that's the correct way of saying it. It actually means that you will return here as someone famous. I'm liking that, babe. It's actually real raining now, so I've got an umbrella, but right as we step outside the bridge, you are standing in the center of so much history. For example, there's the stunning cathedral that we can see from our room. Unfortunately, that was heavily damaged through the war, so that's rebuilt, about 70% of it. And one really cool fact that I really hope that we're gonna to catch tonight, come with, are these oil lanterns. Now there's actual an oil lantern keeper, and he will every night put them on, and every morning turn them off. Like, sorry, but it doesn't get more romantic than that, right? That's insane, and I know. there's a thousand of them, right? Thousand? Thousand oil lamps? Uh, no, 100. Oh, 100. Oh, there's 100. Meet Michael, Hi. our tour guide for today. He's going to bombard us with uh, Theodora's finest fact. <laughs> and uh, we can't wait. But it's real raining now, so bear with us. I'm blind. Is it because he's small? <laughs> Are you seeing him? No. Oh, yeah, I see him. 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 Oh my god, he's really small! It's a door, what did I say earlier? <laughs> yeah. no, but no, Michael no. gave it away straight away. He was like, yeah, you said you will find 400 of them. 300. Oh, and then Michael was like, oh, we will find many, many uh, gnomes, like dwarfs. So why are there 300 gnomes? Uh, because every year they migrate to Poland to Wrocław. Oh, oh they immigrate. Oh, look at him! <laughs> Baby, he's so cute! He's cute, isn't he? I like him! <laughs> And like he, he's carrying a book because yeah. he's been to the bookshop. Yeah, that's right. He's probably stolen it. You know those gnomes? Okay, I need a picture of him, babe. Like I literally love gnomes. I got bullied in school because I believed in a gnome. I actually saw him. I still know in my eyeball that I saw him. And they were like, oh, stop it, you didn't see him. I saw a gnome, so I know they're real. And you know, Michael said they migrate to Rotswa. <laughs> so cool, we need to collect all 400 or 300 of them. We have found gnome number two. He's drinking a cup of coffee at the coffee shop. I see another one, babe. Gnome number three. Okay, so we're kind of standing at the gate of Cathedral Island, which is where we're currently living, i.e. the bridge. And it's really like a religious uh, island, really, because we have six churches. We've got five congregations and most of the buildings are actually owned by the Catholic Church. So for example there's um, an old people's home for priests and there's a priest school and things like that. So it's very special plus we already found three gnomes so quite cool. But there's actually, which I didn't even know, there's 12 islands in Rog... Rotswarf. There's 12 islands in Rotswarf. I think the one thing we've learned about Poland is so much history and I'm actually getting like, I'm getting geeked out on it because it's, it's just so important to know what happened in the past. Like what, are, what we're telling you in the vlog is maybe like one 20th 
<laughs> <laughs> Not that much, but that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Oh, babe, look at this. Yeah. We're around here. Yeah. But I'm guessing this is hell, right? Yes. Well, this, this is, is hell. hell. <laughs> this is where we were. Can you imagine that we drove like this whole, the whole of Poland for you guys. <laughs> Make sure you check out the series. Yeah, and subscribe. <laughs> So behind us is Student Island and there's actually 100,000 students in Wrocław but the great thing is about Student Island is that none of Wrocław you're allowed to drink outside but on Student Island you're allowed to drink outside I bet that's a popular island during summer, can you imagine? Okay, we spotted gnome number four he's by the river washing his clothes his boots are sat behind him. He's got a mountain of clothes. He's a very dirty gnome. He hasn't been doing laundry, babe. Gnome number five, the gardener. So this gnome was actually gifted to the professor of Polish language. That's his face right here. As he retired. Gnome number seven. Gnome number eight. And he's got the umbrella just like us today. I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's pretty damn exciting walking around Wroclaw, the city, uh, looking for one. these. I see another one. Oh, she's we're having a competition now who who can see the most gnomes and as i'm vlogging she's totally cheating and now she's right got the there. next gnome gnome number nine is a professor okay we've come inside to uh Rotsalof, uh inside market one no. thing we're loving in poland is they got amazing flowers don't yeah. they but one thing we also noticed is that the cemeteries in um, Poland are full of flowers like people really tend to them and look at these these things are like insane you can't find this but there's something else cool in the covered market there is a very famous coffee guy here he actually won the championship of how to prepare coffee like the unique way to prepare coffee in the EU he's right here so if you're into coffee this is the place to be as you know we're more of a tea and bubble tea people losers I know but you know and another thing that stands out during this time of the year is that there's a lot of mushrooms for sale and Michael was explaining to us that it's kind of like a sport here in Poland to go into the forest, find the mushrooms and eat them. And but we've, them. Been, we've been driving around obviously quite a lot. We've been seeing people sat on the side of the road with yeah. like little stalls selling mushrooms, but yeah. also normal people yeah, yeah, just going in with a little basket and collecting the mushrooms. Yeah, so that's cool. If you come around November time, October, November, Oh, you Definitely bring some... a basket and get some mushrooms on it. Yeah, but hang on, it could be dangerous. What if they're like funky mushrooms? I'm from Netherlands, hello. Uh, yeah. Okay, back in the day, this was the prison in the city. Now it's a pub. I can imagine it's pretty cool inside, but due to COVID, it's closed. But I should imagine there is a prisoner gnome somewhere. Gnomes number nine and 10. We've got pizza and ice cream makers, our kind of gnomes. There he is, guys. The prisoner, little fella. Oh, look at the locks they put on him. He's got no chance. Gnome number 13 on Italy Street, and he's clearly Italian. Pizza, coffee, and he's driving his Vespa. A butcher gnome with his door to the cellar and the meat, and Yakka means butcher street. Beautiful. Gnome number 15, the traveler. Have you got your passport? Go see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is veteran. So I'm not sure what number, but it's the most important gnome. He is the guard to the gnome kingdom. The door to the gnome kingdom is right there. And you've got your own gnome. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am my own gnome. So guys, we are in the main town square and there's hardly anyone here. A couple of locals walking around, so pretty sad to see, but we're still having a good time. We're still exploring beautiful town square and lots of gnomes on this square, guys. 
So behind us, these buildings are original. They haven't really been destroyed. It's literally the historical bits of the market square. And the cool thing is, is that kings and emperors used to stay in these ones. They would connect them inside and the entire court would come and stay. And this square is the biggest town square in Poland. No, second. Second? Yep. Okay, wasn't listening properly. The second biggest town square in Poland and holds up to like 100,000 people when everyone's like together. So uh, yeah, it's pretty big. The gnome behind us is a, a gnome with a guitar because uh, what's love? What's <laughs> love? What's love? Uh, stop it, babe, stop it. <laughs> Uh, holds the Guinness World Record for the amount of people playing guitar in one place. That's, That's pretty cool. cool. That's really cool. cool. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? This is the oldest pub in Europe, guys. Currently closed to uh, the public at the moment, as you can expect it. But here you can see, I don't know if you can see him behind me. He's coming home extremely drunk, something I would never do. And then Theodora is waiting for me with her slipper to give me a little slap around the face. She's cheeky like that. Guys, make sure you don't drink on the streets in Poland because this couple down there got stopped by the police and they got checked to see if they were wanted internationally or in the country. So yeah, do not drink in the streets because you, uh, you're going to get in trouble. Except for Student Island, you get there. So guys, you've got the main square there, and if you go diagonally, I'm gonna say the southwest corner, to the salt square, and if you need flowers at two o'clock in the morning, they are gonna be open, ready and waiting for you. I mean, you like the way I said it, it's on the southwest corner of the main square. Did you lie about that or you knew this? No. You just made it just up? Just felt like it sounded really good. <laughs> southwest corner, guys, southwest corner. So if you've been a naughty boy or girl, you're gonna go to the city courts, which looks like a castle. If you get found guilty, there's a prison behind. That's my tram, babe. That's my tram. What, 14 fat? Gosh, is that a sign? You need to stop eating those burgers, babe. Okay, this is the number one known. This was the first known that came in to uh, the city. He's sitting on a thumb, thumb for being, it's good, it's okay. Okay, we finished our tour, but behind us, he's lit some lights already, the gas lighter. But those but ones those aren't, lit. aren't So we need to, we need to stalk him, babe. I reckon he's going round, so let's go this way and we'll find oh, him. Oh yeah, and then we'll meet him, yes. Guys, we can see him doing it. Oh, he's walking this way. Perfect timing. Where is he going? Perfect timing. Oh my God, his uniform is awesome. Oh, this is, this is why we travel, guys. So cool. Woo. So this man spends two hours every morning and every night doing this sorry but where do you see this like i feel like i'm in a movie babe that was really cool to see him do it he was pretty grumpy <laughs> he was like he, he didn't like the cab but he's got a big old like gas lighter he's got a cape he's yeah, got a hat that's really he cool hat, and look at it we're back at the 200 year old tree all the lanterns are lit i'm um, babe i'm so grateful that we saw that just now it's amazing it's super super Happy that we're back at the Bridge Hotel because we can't eat anywhere. But for the guests, we can eat. So oh, babe, we're gonna have a, a drink 
cocktail and then we're uh, gonna have an early night and I'm looking forward to the breakfast in the morning, babe. Very, uh, I was gonna say banood in Dutch. That's uh, <laughs> interest, like curious. In curious to see what the breakfast is like. Good morning, guys. Wow, what a night. Guys, it's the end of the Polish series. We are going home today, unfortunately. Poland has been good to us, hasn't it? It's been amazing to us. A little bit of rain yesterday, so, uh, but that's the only rain we've had. So I've just packed up everything while Theodora's doing her makeup and uh we've just been for breakfast as well epic breakfast need that because we have got a 12 hour drive home oh. which is going to be pretty insane and it's come out a good time because france and germany have just gone on to like national lockdown for the next month and we've got to drive through germany today so hopefully there's no issues at the border last night when we were having uh i was gonna say a couple bevies a couple of cocktails, a couple of beers, and a bit of dinner. Playing cards, and guys, if you ever never played Cards Monopoly, oh. then you have to buy this online. We'll put a link downstairs. Like it's epic game when you're traveling. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the Polish series. Yes. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Safe. Until next keep watching. Time. Keep watching. Till <laughs> next time. Bye. Bye. Wow, I've made a mess on my camera.